So today we'll um, start the bootstrap. So before starting that we need to know that what is bootstrap. So bootstrap is SAP UI5 refers to a process of initializing the SAP UI5 framework within a web application. So it's like setting up the foundation for using SAP UI5 to build the web application. So basically, actually, it's um, it's actually load the UI5 library. So in the previous video, I already developed that um, prerequisite and required software package. And after that, I run the hello world. So today I will show uh, on, on top of that, um, I will just add the bootstrap. So it's just pretty step forward. I'm just copying from here and paste inside that. And now let's talk about how it's work. So basically that is um, a JavaScript. And in that JavaScript, that is just ID. And that is the source actually from where it will collect the data or it will collect that resource. So if you think that this resource is in your local directory or your local server then you can just change the source to your local server and there's uh, other things other properties like themes and uh, library uh, sorry libraries and we'll use that sapm which will be used for that applications and another thing is that this location um, actually that is that uh, namespace of that application so things is like that basically uh, actually that is the namespace and after this you can see that from this namespace it will uh, showing that um, dot slash that means that first it will go to that web app which is the root directory or the project directory on that um, applications and after that it will search the index.js so let's see how it's work using kind of debug mode so if i execute that ui5 so it's running already so i'm just to here and if i run this you can see the index and now if i uh, just press the f12 you can see actually that it is also trying to find the index.js from location dot um slash index.js so basically it is coming to this location web app and actually after that it is trying to find the index.js so let's create the index.js i'm just using this index.js and creating here it's already by default it is coming but I want to use as per the SAP guidelines, so I'm copying this, paste this. So now, if we refresh, we can see that um, it is showing. So again, if we just recap that actually from here, it is uh, actually collecting the all resource from here and once everything is completed then it is actually going to this path this path means that this path i mean that uh web app path and after that it is searching that index.js so that's the reason when i refresh it is first showing that and when i just click ok then actually it is showing that this html related things so that's all for that's um today's video about that boost step 
so i think you understand and uh, let's continue with the next uh, tutorial thank you